Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Eclipse Vox, Creating a Dragon Voice Model, I'm going to show you how to create a voice model in Dragon so that you'll be ready to prepare it for real-time voice writing. This video is based on the training provided in Real-Time Voice Writing 9th Edition for Court Reporting, written by Betty A. Keys. Before creating a voice model in Dragon, ensure that you have followed the instructions in our previous video for setting up an Eclipse user. I'll put a link to that video in the top right. It's also necessary that Dragon has been installed and set up and registered. It's a good idea to read any instructions that may have been included with your dictation device. Some masks have volume knobs or other settings that are important to be knowledgeable of. After these steps have been completed, we can get started and create a voice model in Dragon. To create my Dragon voice model, after installing Dragon, I'm going to open Eclipse. I'm going to choose my Ashley Vox user that I created in the previous video. And in the top left, I'm going to click on Vox Utilities, or Tools, Voice, and Voice Utilities. I'll choose Manage User Profiles, and in this case I already have a user profile, however you may not have anything listed here. I'm going to hit New to create a new profile. I'll choose Next, and I'm going to type in my name. I'm going to make this Dragon profile match my Eclipse user, and call it Ashley Vox. I'm not going to check the box for this profile is to transcribe recordings of someone else speaking, because it is meant to transcribe my own voice. I'll choose Next, and in this window you would choose your accent if you do have one. I'm going to go ahead and select Standard for Accent and choose Next. And now I can choose the dictation device that I'd like to use. My bench microphone is actually the microphone that I use to record my videos with, so what I'm going to do is choose my headset microphone for Dragon to use. In this window you'd want to choose whatever dictation device you're using. Your mask or USB sound card would be listed here. I'll hit Next. Dragon will now prompt me to position my microphone properly, so I'll make sure that it is in a place where it can hear me and that it's not muted. My headset has a boom microphone that mutes when I raise it, so I do need to make sure that it is not raised. I'll hit Next. And now I can start reading this text to configure my microphone. As I read, Dragon will automatically work to start configuring my voice model and make sure that my microphone is working properly and is adequate for dictation. I'm going to hit Start, and then I'll read the text. I am reading this text out loud, clearly, and naturally. I will come to use this tone when I dictate with the product. Right now, I am giving Dragon a chance to adapt to my voice and audio environment. As I talk, Dragon is checking the quality of the audio input and adjusting some settings. Good audio input is essential for accurate speech recognition. To achieve high accuracy, I should maintain a consistent... My microphone check has now completed, and I can just hit Next. On the Accuracy screen, I'm going to choose Don't Enable This Now and press Next. I'm going to hit Next through the advertisement, and I'll choose Finish. Now that the user profile has been completed, I can start setting up the settings to make sure that everything will work properly. The next thing that I need to do is go to Vox Setup, or again I can go to Tools, Voice, and Setup. In the Correction tab, I'm going to uncheck everything except for automatically add words to the active vocabulary. So I'll uncheck to select Commands, bring up Correction Menu, and show Smart Format Rules. I'll press Apply, and move to the next section. In Commands, I'm going to uncheck everything, and then I'm going to click More Commands, and uncheck everything in this window as well. I'll press OK, and then Apply once more for this tab. Dragon is warning me that it needs to restart in order to save these changes, and that's fine, I can restart it once I'm done setting it up. I'll just press OK and ignore that for now. In the Appearance tab, everything can be left as it is. 
In the hotkey tab, however, I'm going to want to remove each hotkey. You can select the hotkey and hit edit, or you can just double click on the hotkey to open the option, and then press the delete key on your keyboard to remove the hotkey. Press OK, and you see that now that hotkey has been removed. I'll press delete once more and press OK, and I'll repeat this action for each of the hotkeys. I'll press apply to apply these changes. And under the playback text to speech tab, we can leave all of the settings like they are. I'll go to the miscellaneous tab and I'm going to make sure that everything is unchecked. And the speed versus accuracy settings we're going to leave alone because Dragon will manage that for us. And the setting to put the microphone to sleep after so many minutes of silence, we're going to set to 120. I'm going to highlight the 5 and just type in 120. I'll press apply to save these changes. And again, it's going to warn me that I'll need to exit Dragon to apply the changes, and that's fine, we'll do it at the end. In the data tab, we'll leave store corrections and archive checked. And for disk space reserved for playback, I'm going to change this to 1280. Save recorded dictation with documents should be set to always. And I'm going to ensure that all other options are unchecked, including run accuracy tuning at the time scheduled by your administrator. I'll press apply. And that was the last tab that we need to change any settings in, so I'll press OK. Next, we need to adjust Dragon's auto formatting options. To do that, I'll go to Vox Utilities. And I'm going to choose formatting options and press OK. And in this window, we're going to uncheck all options. I'll press OK once everything is unchecked. And next, we need to change some of Dragon's administrative settings. To do that, we're going to access Dragon through the system tray. In my case, I need to hit the little up arrow to show hidden icons. And I can right click on Dragon. I'll go to Tools and Administrative Settings. I'm going to choose Proceed. and you don't see it on the screen. However, I got a user account control message that wants me to allow Dragon to make changes to my computer and I'm going to hit yes. In this window, I'm going to uncheck check for product updates at startup and I'm going to check disable automatic acoustic model selection in the acoustic optimizer. I'm going to go to scheduled tasks at the top next and uncheck enable scheduled accuracy tuning and also uncheck Enabled Scheduled Data Collection. I'll press Apply and OK. Now that all of these settings have been updated, I can restart my computer. I'm going to close out of Eclipse, and I'll unplug my audio device that I use for Dragon, and I'm going to choose to restart my computer. I'll go to Start, Power, and Restart. Now that my computer has restarted, the next step is to start customizing vocabulary so that you are ready to start dictating. And we'll cover that in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24 seven. Tech support can be reached for questions about any of our products anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288 3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content. Thank you so much for watching.
Have a great day.